welcome to Not So Daft Minecraft, where we are now the proud owners of a brand new Bubble Vader over there, percolating in the background that makes trips to the surface pretty quick. So what we are going to do is get our cattle farm and our underground wheat farm started. And the reason for this is simple. Behind us, you see the new tunnel way that we're starting for the branch mining. That's a lot of work, digging that box out and then connecting those branches. And I would like to have the cattle working on my behalf while I'm doing that work in the mines. In other words, while we're doing all that mining, cattle are over here growing, wheat is over here growing. We come back to dump off minerals, gems, etc., clean up our inventory. We can take care of business with the cattle and the wheat. If we wait, well, what's the point? So let's go ahead and bring those cows down here. Uh, it's kind of a chore. Uh, one thing we will do is block off nether gate and block off the, uh, or remove the pressure plate so we can keep them here. But first we have to make a space for them. So I'm gonna have cows uh, probably over there behind me in that space. And I think we'll do wheat over there in that space. Probably should split these into two videos, one for the wheat and one for the cows, but it's so simple. We're gonna dig out a room, put dirt on the floor, plant. We'll put in a dispenser mechanism and that's for automatic harvesting. Over here, we're going to dig out a room that has a pit at its center and a walkway around its edges. That way, um, we don't have to worry about gates and cattle coming out and getting loose and all that kind of stuff. Real simple, I'm gonna try and cut this down, not talk too much, just show you what it looks like, and that way we can get this done lickety-split. And the best way to get it done lickety-split is to get started. So, let's go ahead and get digging. We've got plenty of iron to throw away on tools. All right, we'll just narrate this as we go. I like uneven rooms because it makes for better lighting conditions. You can center the lights in the middle of the room. So what I'm gonna do here is dig a seven by 13 space. And that means we're gonna be um, nine by 15 here at the top. This is the start of our walkway right here. We're just gonna count out how many spots um, for the pit and how many spots for the floor, which we're working on here. So we get rid of all the unwanted material, harvest any of the uh, minerals we come across, um, and just dig that floor down. One more uh, than you think you have to, so you can put the dirt in. A couple of ladders to come and go. We'll head off into the nether and uh, take the opportunity to finish up this tunnel way and clean up these stairs. Um, you could do this without glowstones. Um, we found some pumpkins. You could grow pumpkins, turn them into jack-o'-lanterns, and then when you plant them in the ceiling, they make nice uh, light sources. But uh, we got the nether. We've seen some glowstone in the background. So we're just going to run out. We make our markers. Um, that becomes something instinctive after a while. We make a big mistake here. We're gonna go way up to get to them and, oops. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that we did not have any, uh, any connected uh, access to those uh, glowstones. So you have to go all the way back out. Now you've got no gear. Of course a gas to spawn. So you can run past them. Boom, there's a fireball. And, uh, there's all our gear, which is nice. We're lucky we didn't die near lava. Uh, cause, uh, or, you know, even a piece of gear that lands on one of those uh, active bits of fire there is going to be lost forever. So we just sky hop back up again. And this time we'll, uh, we'll make ourselves a little walkway and uh, hop up. I always put down one stone before I start hopping up again. That way I can see that stone and I know death if I break that stone. Um, 
So you could do it with uh, pumpkins or something like that, but I mean, we got the nether and, uh, you know, we put down our markers, put down our markers, it's kind of a rhythm, you'll feel it out after a while, you'll just learn, hey, I need a marker here or there. Um, so I went ahead and got us a couple of batches of glowstone, so we're good to go for both this build and the next one, which is the wheat farm. Um, just get rid of the extra garbage on the ceiling, find center spot, and I'm going to overlight this. Um, why not? There's glowstone aplenty out there in the nether, so uh, cows don't need that much lighting. You just want to reduce the chance of bad guys spawning in there. Um, but again, we have the glowstone. Why not? Uh, we pop up a couple of ladders here. We can come out. Now we got to get the cows. So up to the surface. And uh, bust open their wall. Lure them in with some wheat. Take the door out so that it's not in the way. In they come. And then you just kind of bump them. You kind of slowly bump into them towards the corner. And even though they're two blocks wide, I mean, that's what my eyeball says, they do go down the hole. Uh, now down below, we've blocked off the nether gate and we blocked off the door. Because I can promise you, I've done this before, those cows will wander into the nether gate and they are tough to push back through on the other side. It's, it's difficult. Um, and then you just have cows wandering around in the nether. So I managed to get the whole herd down. Usually I'll make a really big herd on the surface and then I'll cull it down to the babies and just take the babies down and start over. But this way we get, we get a real strong herd downstairs from the get go. Down we go. And you just lure them into the pit. I've made two trips because I did fall down with the cows once. And that is basically that. Pick up your mess. Remove your blockers. And, uh, you know, hey, time for our close-up. All right, now we've got cattle down here. We can get busy making books, which means we can get busy making bookcases, which means we can get busy enchanting. Thank you for watching Not So Daft Minecraft. I have been Gosub. You have been great.